Let's use a distributive property and multiply. So that will be negative 2 times 3x. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. So I'll have negative 6x plus negative 2 times 7. That is negative 14. You can leave it like this, or you can write it as negative 6x minus 14. Let's simplify this expression. Now notice we're looking first for like terms. These two terms are like terms, and these two terms are like terms. Now in order to combine these two terms, we need a common denominator. But we don't need a denominator that's common to all four terms, just the ones that are like terms. So for example, for 1 3rd and 1 6, we'll use the least common denominator of 6. 1 3rd, 3 times 2 is 6, and 1 times 2 is 2. So 1 3rd a is the same as 2 6 a. Then I'll write this term next, plus 1 6 a. And now let's concentrate on these like terms. What would be the least common denominator? Just looking at these two fractions, it would be 8. So I'll rewrite this term next, leaving it alone because it already has a denominator of 8. And then minus, what do I multiply 4 by in order to have 8? Well, 4 times 2 is 8, and 3 times 2 is 6. Now let's combine like terms. I have 2 6a plus 1 6a, so that would be 2 6 plus 1 6, or 3 6 a, and then I have negative 3 eighths minus 6 eighths. That would be negative 3 minus 6, or negative 9 eighths. And I wrote that as minus 9 over 8. Then can either of our fractions be simplified? The answer is yes. Notice 3 and 6 have a common factor of 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 6 divided by 3 is 2. So this is 1 half. A, or you can write it as a over 2 if you'd like, minus 9 over 8. Now, by the way, you cannot combine these two terms because they are unlike terms. We're about to simplify an expression, and for this expression, it contains parentheses. Remember, sometimes you need to use the distributive property and remove parentheses, and then simplify by looking for any like terms. Let's try that on the following expression. First, I'm going to take a moment and remove this set of parentheses by using the distributive property. So that's 4y plus 10. Now it's how you want to think of this. You can think of this as plus negative 2 times these two terms in the parentheses, so I'll think of it that way. Negative 2 times y, that's negative 2y. I'll write minus 2y. And then negative 2 times 10, that's negative 20. I'll write minus 20. Then we will simplify further by looking for like terms. These two terms are like terms, so let's combine them. 4y minus 2y, that is 4 minus 2, or 2y. And then this term and this term, those are constants. They are like terms. What is 10 minus 20? 10 minus 20 is negative 10. I'll write minus 10. And I have 2y minus 10. I can go no further because these are unlike terms. Let's simplify this expression, and to begin, we'll remove parentheses. So I'll simply remove the first set of parentheses. That's 8 and 3 tenths x minus 2 and 9 tenths. Then it's minus the terms in this set of parentheses. It's kind of like the opposite, then, of this polynomial, so you can rewrite each of these terms with the opposite sign, or you can think of this as negative 1 times the terms inside this parenthesis, and you can do that by using the distributive property. Either way, you want to think of this. That's negative 1 times positive 9 and 6 tenths x, so that's negative 9 and 6 tenths x, and then negative 1 times a negative 
4 and 8 tenths. That's positive 4 and 8 tenths. So that's plus 4 and 8 tenths. But notice what's happened. This was positive. Now it's negative. This was negative, and now it's positive. We've removed parentheses. Let's look for like terms. Notice this term and this term. Those are like terms. So we can combine them. What is 8 and 3 tenths minus 9 and 6 tenths? It is negative 1 and 3 tenths. And then don't forget your x. And then you have this term and this term. Those are like terms. It's negative 2 and 9 tenths plus 4 and 8 tenths. And negative 2 and 9 tenths plus 4 and 8 tenths. That's positive 1 and 9 tenths. Remember, you subtract, take the sign of the number with the larger absolute value. Can I go any further? The answer is no, because these are unlike terms. So I've simplified.